I've been hearing a lot of talk on the forums, um, lots of concern if America's Army 5 is happening. Well, it is. Okay, so first off, if you guys haven't been following Polygon Art and his work on his uh, indie game Army Ops, what are you doing? Go follow it right now. His work looks amazing, and I'm super excited for this game to come out. So you're probably asking, how do I, of all people, know America's Army 5 is coming out? Well, I have no Magic 8-Ball, but I do have the internet. And like I said in the first video, if you follow the uh, company SAIC, the contractor company that's making this game, you can see their job postings, and you can see what they're hiring for, which gives you more information. Um, this is uh, a common tactic used by people trying to follow what um, video game industries are, are doing and what companies are doing with, with no press releases. So with that, I have been following the SAIC job postings for quite some time. I usually check back every couple weeks because the postings usually only go up for a week or two. Um, and this is what I found. So four job postings were made in June for the Army Game Studios. Game Developer Specialist, Junior Software Engineer, Senior 3D Game Artist, and a Software Engineer. All in Huntsville, Alabama, where the Army Game Studios is housed. By looking through these job postings, you can see specifically what the Army Game Studio is looking for in candidates to apply for these positions. And what they're asking for is huge. Um, by looking at these, you can see they're looking for people that have already shipped AAA titles. Um, AR and VR titles. They're doing the same um, modeling and character uh, camera work that they've done in the past. Um, I can link out to my my saved PDFs of these, but it's astonishing what they're actually looking for, and it looks like it could be a huge game. These posts were taken down in early July, which uh, could mean a couple things. You know, it could either mean that they have found their ideal candidates and finished a hiring process. The project was canceled, um, but I, I don't see it being canceled um, just because we've seen these postings before. And nothing politically has, you know, changed in a massive way. Especially if they were hiring, you know, years ago now, and they're hiring again. They're either ramping up production or they're looking for a new team. Um, I'm not going to speculate too much on what I think it is, but uh, either way, it's pretty big. Um, as far as timeline, since they're posting for these positions, if it's the, the former where they're, they're ramping up their um, development operations to you know, get the alpha put out or go into a beta, that's, that's good news. Um, if it's the latter where they uh, switched projects or fired the rest of the team and now they're trying to get a new team, you know, then uh, we're looking at Army Ops 2022, 20, 23, something like that. But that's it for this video, boys. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Um, I'll go through and elaborate with uh, Soldier's Private. Maybe we'll get some swerp in there, too, in a future video um, where we kind of talk about what they're posting here and what our thoughts are. But I just want to get the information out. Keep your hopes up, and we'll see you guys in Army Ops 5. Breeze gunfight.